played a, several guys Saturday that had that he's not played or hadn't played a lot. Do you see those guys get more or equal amount of time going forward? Um, I think so. You know, we had, uh, I think you're you're asking about Enrique and the Reese uh, and, uh, and, 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 and Reese. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, again, uh, there was obviously a, a, a need for it. And, uh, and like I said, there's been some guys really coming on, working hard, and preparing, getting a little bit more and more of the system. And, and, uh, uh, and it, it asked for that on Saturday. You know. What did you say? I mean, Josh Holes, I mean, first, first chance to get say out again, there. I'm sorry. Josh Holes, I mean, first chance to get out there and play 30 plays. And, you know, has, has a couple of really good plays, including that third down. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the thing about Josh is, along with Jonathan Jones, you know, the, two, the two freshmen, they've been playing on special teams, and they've been doing a great job. And anytime you play on special teams, which is a, you know, it's a, it's a space game. And they've been on kickoff, they've been on, um, you know, the punt team, the punt return team, um, and they've just been getting better and better. And so it was no surprise, obviously, you, you know, uh, They've been working really hard and getting to know our defense. Felt comfortable enough for them to go in there. And, and, uh, and I'm speaking about Josh. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a matter of time before Jonathan sees some defensive plays. Uh, he's just, uh, you know, he's he's grabbing onto it each and every day, better and better. And uh, but yeah, it's really good to see Josh in there and in, and in the plays that he made. Uh, I know everybody saw the play he made down deep, down the post. And, in a, in a game like that, in the moment that it was, um, it's always good to see you know, a young kid make a play like that. Hopefully it'll build some confidence, in, uh, which it should, and uh, continue to get better. At what point did Robinson stop being a running back again and go back to being a, a cornerback? Well, again, you know, uh, we're just trying to, get, trying to get guys on the team, you know, or, to fit a certain role, and, and for that ball game, and, and for what uh, you know, what we were asking Therese to do, uh, you know, it was perfect for him. He's a physical kid. Uh, uh, you know, when they got into a certain uh, personnel grouping, uh, it just fit for him. It fit for us, and, uh, and, and we took advantage of it. How did Enrique do? Thought he did well. He did well. Uh, again, one thing about it. You know, Enrique is, is he's going to play with a lot of energy, and he's a physical player. And uh, in a game like that, you know, you need you need guys that uh, are going to love to mix it up. And, and uh, he's just you know he's just got to keep on working, continue to keep learning. And uh, by no means has he arrived or any of those young guys or, or guys that haven't had that many reps. You know, it takes time, um, you know, especially at the safety position that makes all our calls. But he's feeling more comfortable. What do you see as the role for those guys in games like the one coming up when you're going to just going to be a different kind of game? Than yeah, they're, 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 they're getting reps. They're playing on defense, and, and uh, again, they're getting better and better. And it, the role can again, it could it could get bigger and bigger. It really just depends on them and, uh, and how they continue to practice and and, uh, and continue to earn reps. They earn reps. They. When they got in there, they did some really good things, and, and uh, you know, obviously they, they they weren't perfect, but they played with a lot of energy uh, and played with a lot of physicality, and it's uh, it's good to have because the more you have, the better you are. You know, you can develop depth, and we need that. You know, Jermaine Whitehead's one of the guys that kind of making that transition from being a corner most of the time to now. Kind of in that role of safety. How have you seen him progress as, as he's gotten more playing time? I think Jermaine's improved each and every week, and, and again, he's uh, um, he's feeling more comfortable and confident in our system. Again, we're a system where you've got to make a lot of calls and uh, and be on point. And, uh, um, but you can see that each and every week, he gets more confident. Who was your most productive defensive back in that game in the LSU game? Uh, I, it's it's kind of hard to answer because there's things that that some guys did in the game that allowed us to do other things. You know, whether that was playing 
man-to-man -man press and taking up taking the receiver away and, and committing to the safety and for the run game and uh, may not have a bunch of stats you know gotcha. like somebody like Chris Davis or or Mincy or you know or Josh for that matter you know what I mean uh, you know the first thing that I think people will, will notice is the amount of tackles that our safeties make they're supposed to make tackles in our system uh, uh, we ask them to do that uh, so I think I think uh, you're going to see a lot of production from our safeties in a game like that, and I mean by tackles. Right. Uh, but you know, like uh, like I said to you, you know, Chris Davis uh, made a couple of plays that uh, uh, you're not going to read about it in a box score. You know, when we're talking about fits and things that he was able to uh, neutralize or, or take away uh, from a run game standpoint uh, in the perimeter and uh, along with the passing game. He played well in that game. He did. Davis. He had a good game. Yeah. yeah, I thought he played well. Seeing him make a play like he did down the goal line. Feeling more comfortable playing nickel. Mm -hmm. You know, he's didn't play it last year, and he's getting he's getting better and better with that. You know, that's that's really the significant gain that we've had at that position. Is that where Holsey was working in, kind of behind Chris and nickel? No. Okay. Holsey was playing corner. He's on the outside. Yeah. outside. Yeah. Chris is in the inside. Just to be. Holsey said that yesterday. Didn't he? Well, he's, well, he's, he's in a nickel he's package, in nickel but he's package. outside nickel and Chris, yeah, yeah. Chris is inside. Correct. So. He plays corner. Post. So. Good. Yeah. Appreciate Thanks, it. Really appreciate it. Okay, guys. Thank have you. a good night, man. Take care. Thanks, okay, man. That was good.